All right, in this video, we're gonna cover the kettlebell lunge. And there's a number of different variations and we'll at least show some of those variations in this video, okay? The first is when we take the kettlebells and we put them in the front rack position, you can do forward lunges or backward lunges. You could even have one kettlebell, okay? So you kind of work the core and stability a little more when you're going forward or back in your lunges. Uh, you can do walking lunges, we'll talk about that. You can also hold the kettlebell like you're holding it for a goblet squat, so either by the horns or by the bell itself, keeping it tight to the chest. So let me show a couple of variations. So for our first, let's clean these up into the rack position. I like to clasp the fingers whenever I'm kind of sitting at top here, okay? And then we're gonna keep the core really tight. We're gonna keep the upper arms pinned to the torso, chest really high, neutral spine. We step forward and lunge back. You can also see that my knee is completely touching the floor. I like to achieve full range of motion. For reverse lunges, same thing. Knee goes all the way down to the floor. I step back up to my feet, okay? The variation if we have one kettlebell we're using, so it might be a heavier kettlebell, we might just be doing higher reps. We keep the bell pinned to our chest, grab by the horns. You can also grab it by the bell itself whichever you're more comfortable with. And again, it's the same movement. Keeping it nice and tight, chest high, core tight, we step forward, touching the knee, down to the floor. If we're doing reverse lunges, knee again, down to the floor. I like all of these variations. Now, if we're doing walking lunges, you again can do it as if you're holding it from the horns like you're doing a goblet squat, or the front rack position. However, when we're walking, we step. Don't step forward and through without stopping. I like to come to a full stop, full extension of the hips, then go into my next lunge, okay? What I don't like to do is step, go through, into the next lunge. I like to get full complete uh, movement, full hip extension on each one. That's the kettlebell lunge, front rack, goblet position, whichever you prefer. You can do the forward lunges, you can do the reverse lunges, you can do the walking lunges. I personally recommend trying a, a variation of all of them. Do the ones you like best or do all of them at different points in time. If you have any questions, post them to YouTube. Stay strong, I'll see you next time.